Blackpink, Twice, ITZY, and BTS. You all know of these groups. They are all super popular and at some point you have definitely heard at least one of their songs. What if instead of talking about super popular groups though, we talk about some underrated K-pop groups and idols that you probably haven't heard much about. Welcome to the underrated K-pop group and solo series, where I introduce you to some incredibly underrated K-pop idols that you definitely should give a listen to. Here are three K-pop artists that you should listen to. For those of you who followed Eyes One, you know who Unbi is. She was the leader of Eyes One and just like now, had some incredible vocals that were both powerful and strong. The group consisted of other really popular K-pop idols such as Yujin, Taewon, Sakura, Yena, and Wanyo. The group overall was incredibly talented and had a lot of potential to become super successful. After around two and a half years though, Eyes One unfortunately disbanded. Taewon, Yujin, Sakura, and Wanyo, who were also part of Eyes One, joined the Seraphim and Ive. And both groups became incredibly popular. For the remaining members, Taeyeon, Yuri, Yena, Hewon, and Unbi all became soloists. Since her debut, Unbi has released three extended plays and two single albums, which all slam. The Flash is such a good album, and here is a sample of the three songs in the album. <laughs> music videos and dance is also incredible, and here are a list of all of the albums and you should definitely give her a listen. Quick side note, I just noticed that on Unbi's channel, she is actually going to release her second album titled Sabotage, I'll link the trailer below if you're curious. Unbi overall has an incredible voice in her songs and the instrumental complement her voice incredibly well. She is definitely one of the top soloists in my opinion and should have more recognition for sure. Some of the songs that I recommend you listen to are Glitch, Underwater, and Esper. Similar to Umbu, who became a soloist after Eyes when disbanded, Sign B, Linha, and Umji all also continued their lives as a K pop idol after G Friend disbanded. Bias is a three member K pop group consisting of Sign B, Linha, and Umji. The group debuted in 2022 and recently started gaining some popularity after their album verses. Even though they recently just started gaining popularity, they definitely still are an incredibly underrated K pop group. Their vocals and dance are both incredible and pretty clear in their fan cams. Besides the famous Versus album, they have three other albums which are honestly so incredibly good. I covered the group in one of my previous videos and their songs overall are really unique with this kind of dark techno kind of style which in my opinion is such a cool style of music. Again, here are the four albums that they have and you should definitely give it them a listen. I would highly recommend it if you haven't already the Versus album along with the Overdrive, Pull Up, and they are all incredible songs. Last but not least, another 3 member K-pop group that unlike Unbi and Vyze, are super underrated with less than 100k subs on YouTube. Limelight debuted in 2023 and consists of 3 members, Miyu, Khan, and Soye. Girls have released 3 albums and their debut album was something amazing, as it had 9 songs and their song honestly was one of the best K-pop songs I have heard. It reminds me a lot of the old, cute, twice concept back in 2016. I really enjoy their concept and they definitely should get more recognition. Something else that is great about the group is their dance, which really gives it the more cute concept. It reminds me a lot of older K-pop concepts along with the cute vibes like some older 3rd gen K-pop groups have. Again, here are some of the songs along with some of my song recommendations. Those are three K-pop groups that you should definitely check out. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you enjoy listening to these K-pop groups along with checking them out.